Hi, my name is Andy Colbert and I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy to go. A short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video and we really hope to see you soon. Hello and welcome to this Riedel how-to series. We're glad you're here. In this video we're going to be talking about groups. Now the first question you might be asking yourself is what is a group? Well a group is a way that one person can talk to multiple destinations simultaneously. So let's say for example the control room on a news program is still waiting for a certain clip to come in and they don't know which of the edit suites is currently working on that clip, they can call to the group of edit suites to ask who's working on the clip, how long will it take, are we going to be too late, is it going to be there on time, and all of the edit suites are going to hear that call, but then the one edit suite that is working on the clip that needs to be there straight away can reply to the control room and can say, yep, almost finished, in 30 seconds it will be ready for broadcast. We could also have the situation where there is a group of runners and someone needs a runner to go off and run an errand and they don't know who's free at the minute so they just call the group of runners and all of the runners hear that call and then the first one to reply saying that they're free would then talk to the person who needs some help and the advantage of doing this through a group is that the reply will only go back to the original speaker and not to everyone who's a member of the group so that we're not disturbing people unnecessarily. In a way you can think of a call to a group as if it's lots and lots of call to ports which have all been stacked onto the same key. So if you're not sure what a call to port is then please do check out our video on call to port but when we do a group what we're effectively doing is putting multiple call to ports on one key but by doing it in a group it makes it a lot easier to program. So if we want to do that we need to go into director and in the navigation bar we're going to go to the groups and conferences tab which we'll have up here and then we'll start by adding a group. Now let's say we want to make the edit suites for the news program so that the director or the control room is able to call up and see what's happening. So we will put here edit suites and then we also should give it an eight character name so that it will appear on the displays and so we'll just call that edits. Once we've done that we say we need to define the members so if we go to the list here we could add a port and just pick from the list so let's say edit suite 1 okay and now they're in there a much quicker way however to do it is to go to the network list in the navigation bar and then we can just drag and drop different panels in there so now we've got a group of six edit suites. We say OK, and that is confirmed. The group now exists. However, we need to program a way that people can call it. Now, there are two ways of doing this. If we go to the Directors panel, we can either go back to our Groups and Conferences tab in the navigation bar, and then we can take the group of edit suites and just drag and drop that to a port on the panel, or we can right-click on a key, then we'll say add function, make it a call to group, and then we need to select the group from the list. At the moment, the only one we have is edit suites, and then we're going to say OK. So now we have two buttons that are doing the identical thing, which of course would not be practical, but it shows you the two ways that this can be programmed. Similarly, if we want to program the group of runners, then again we would add a group. We would call it this time runners and the eight characters actually runners is seven characters so that will fit as well and then we'll go to members and as we said before the quickest way is just to pull the panels in directly with drag and drop so once I've got the first two in I'll add three and four now we have our group which is complete 
and then again to get it onto the let's say audio engineers panel just to change things up a little bit then I'm going to go to the groups and conferences tab then I can take runners and just with a drag and drop that puts it onto the key and enables the audio engineer to call the group of runners and then out of the runners whichever one replies it will only come back to the audio engineer without disturbing the other runners. Thank you for watching this video on groups, please feel free to comment below and if you don't want to miss any future video releases please make sure you subscribe. Cheers.